Greetings, I am Alan Lewis, Dean of the School of Health Professions here at the State University of New York, Downstate Health Sciences University. We really specialize in those disciplines outside of medicine, outside of nursing. And so what we really look at is midwifery, which is a discipline that trains midwives to be independent practitioners. We look at medical informatics, which is really the intersection of healthcare and technology. We also have a sonography program we call that diagnostic medical imaging. We also have occupational therapy. Occupational therapists specialize in providing uh, rehabilitation services to persons in all areas of their life. We have physical therapy and we have a physician assistant program. A student who comes here is gonna receive high level graduate professional training. So there'll be classroom based training and then folks will actually go out to the field in clinical places where they actually begin to test their knowledge on actual patients. Physical therapy was something I was interested in my first semester of college actually. And it took a lot of work to get here because initially I was a high school athlete that played basketball, but I wanted to like have the perfect amalgamation of basketball and also treating patients. I wasn't, I knew I wasn't going to the NBA anymore. So I was only six foot two and I started pretty late with that stuff. So I wanted to find a career where I could encompass both things that I actually love and you know, I like to do and physical therapy was it. So all of our programs, with the exception of our sonography program, which is diagnostic medical imaging, are graduate level programs. And so for all the five of the programs, you have to have at least a bachelor's degree to apply to our program. Only our physical therapy program requires a GRE test, but we take a holistic approach in looking at admissions. So we look at the total person. We look at the sum total of their experiences. We look at grades. We look at references. We look at a personal statement. We typically have an interview, but we take a total composite of who they are. I had been an athlete and seen that people had injuries and I was lucky enough not to have an injury myself. And so I did a volunteer experience. And one of the patients was an ex NFL player who had two hip replacements. And the PT was an ex Navy officer. And the first day I saw her do joint mobilizations with his hips, so his legs over her shoulder and she's just laboring away and he's, you know, clearly in a lot of distress and pain. And the next week I came in and he was like, I don't know what you did, but my, my hip feels amazing. And I was like, I'm in, I don't know what this is, but I'm interested and I haven't turned back since. We draw students primarily from the New York State area and the New York City area, although we do have some students from outside of New York. But our programs are recognized nationally, so we do certainly invite students from anywhere across the country or anywhere across the world. I am Oluwayomi Kasumo, and I am an occupational therapy second year student. My name means God gave me a second chance because at birth I wasn't breathing, but my mom prayed and Two seconds later, I just started crying, so she named me Oluwayomi. I chose to be an occupational therapist because I've always been in, interested in the rehab life. Um, I really appreciate helping people and being able to give them that encouragement and physical help to let them know that despite whatever traumatic injury or um, birth defect they went through, they can always still have a chance for a meaningful life. By and large, all of our students do well when they leave here because we give them a really solid education. And it's not just the classroom base, but it's the applied components, it's the relationships and the networks they create with their peers, it's their uh, mentoring with their faculty members, and they leave here well prepared to go on to do great things. Taking human anatomy lab and lecture and working as a case manager, battling 40 cases was really hard for me. So um, it was all about the battle and understanding the material and um, just keeping up. It's very fast paced. You know, you have to do a lot of prerequisite coursework. You have to do volunteering all before you even apply and you have to stand out. There's a lot of people that want to get into these programs and it takes a very well-rounded person to do that and you want to try to achieve that. New York City is a very expensive economy to live in for, for anybody who's here. But in a relative sense, our programs are very affordable. As a matter of fact, our medical informatics program is ranked as one of the most affordable programs in the country. 
I'm born and raised in California. Both my parents are from the Philippines. I miss California, but I definitely have fallen in love with New York, especially Brooklyn, which is why I'm very happy to be at Downstate. I was born across the street at Kings County Hospital, so I'm very familiar with the area. And my, what I envision for myself as a physical therapist is to give back to my community and also give back to those who are less fortunate. So if you want to be part of one of the most important, high demand and well-paid health professions, consider learning about one of our programs here in the School of Health Professions.